Assalamu alaikum Kazwa. Wa alaikum assalam Harun. What are you looking for? I'm looking for Rashid. I can't seem to find him anyway. I think he is lost. He's lost? How? When? He wasn't there when I woke up and he didn't even come for breakfast. Well that's strange. I can help you if you like. Really? That would be awesome. I think we should check by the river. Let's go then. Acorn shells? These must belong to Rashid. And there's more. Hmm, what's this? Looks like one of Zane's letters. Maybe he knows where Rashid is. <laughs> Looking for this? <gasps> I thought I lost that. Jazakallah khairan for returning it to me. But where did you find it? By the river. We are trying to find Rashid. Oh, I saw him earlier. He said he was going to visit Zaki. Great, let's go to Zaki's place. Thanks for the help, Zane. Hmm, I wonder how I dropped ya. Well, I better get you delivered. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. Assalamu alaikum, Harun. What are you two up to today? We need your help, Zaki. We can't find Rashid. Well, that's funny. I saw him this morning. He came past for breakfast. Do you know where he went after that? Hmm, he said he was going by the school to do something. Oh, he must be there then. Let's go, Kazwa. Thanks, Zeki. I don't see him anywhere. I'm really worried, Kazwa. He's my only brother. What will I do without him? Don't worry, Harun. We won't leave till we find him, inshallah. Thanks, Kazwa. Hello? Someone there? Did you hear that? I need some help. Please. I think it's Rashid. Where is it coming from? It's coming from over there. Rashid, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm stuck. Please get me down. I have an idea, Harun. I, I'm, I'm gonna fall! Thanks so much, Kazwa. I thought I'd be stuck up there forever. Why did you climb up such a big tree? Look how big its acorns are. I wanted to surprise you with one. Wow, mashallah. But still, I'm not happy with you. You could have fallen down and really hurt yourself. I'm sorry, Harun. What Harun means to say is that he was very, very worried about you. No, I wasn't. You were worried about me? Alhamdulillah, I am glad you found me. I thought I was going to hang upside down all night. Feel like some acorns? Sure do. Sure, I'll try some. Today, 
we have learned a very important message. And that is, we should never wander off on our own without telling our parents or someone we know. If we hadn't found Rashid, then he could have fallen out of the tree and really hurt himself. And no one would like that. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs>
They didn't make fun of me because I looked and sounded different. Hmm. I wish I looked and sounded like them. Look at all the children playing. Everyone is different. Some of the children are tall, some are short, some have black hair and some have blonde hair, but they all have something in common. They are all children learning about the world on the same journey of ups and downs to becoming an adult. But how can I stop them from bullying me when I'm so much different from them? First, you have to be strong and always be yourself. Once they get to know who you are and what is special about you, I'm sure you will have many good friends here. Help me! Call the fire brigade! Call the police! Call the postman! Call anybody! I can't get down! Try to stay calm, Rami. We'll get you down. He's very scared. I can see. We will have to find someone with a ladder or call the fire brigade to help. Wait, someone is climbing up the tree. Be careful, Dawood. Don't worry, Zaki. I'm an expert at climbing trees. Where did he go? Our kite! I've never seen anyone climb a tree that good before. He must have trained with the army. Or maybe he was in the circus. Or maybe he has superpowers. Sometimes, people will treat someone differently or even bully them because they look or sound very different or maybe even because of the food they eat or clothes they wear. It can be very sad. Just because someone is from a different place or of a different race doesn't mean they are any different on the inside. And maybe they are being mean to someone who could be the best friend they ever had. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to be kind and treat everyone the same. We are waiting for you. I want to show you how high I can fly the kite. One for Kids online store. Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support. Mm-hmm.
Zaki, why did you let them get the ball? I tripped on the rock. Anyway, it was your plan to make me run backwards. How was I supposed to see where I was running? Okay, this time I'll wait for you to kick the ball forward and then run forward to catch it. Okay, stop celebrating. We know you're winning. Hurry up and take the kickoff. We only have one minute left of the match. Do you think Bilal will notice if we leave the ball here? Of course he will notice. It has your name on it, silly. Zaki, we gotta go. Rashid is very scared of bees. Don't worry, Harun. We'll take care of it. Okay, we'll continue the game another day, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. We can use some of the tree sap on this tree to glue it back together. I'll do it. You look out for Bilal. There we go. Perfect! Oh no! There's Bilal now! Oh no! Let's get out of here, Zeki! Run for your life, Keswa!
Kaz, Bilal is coming for you again. Hurry up, Zeki! He's catching up to us! Uh. Hold on tight, Kazwa! He's catching up again! I can't seem to go faster! Do you think he's gone? Um, he's right behind you. Wh wh what? Where? Relax, Kazwa. He's not awake. <laughs> I've never been this close to him. Zeki, I think he's waking up. Quick, let's get out of here before he sees us. <laughs> Till the next adventure, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. is life. Watch this, Kazwa. Feels so nice today. Come in, Kaz. Take a swim. Um, maybe later. I'm enjoying my drink now. Come on, Kazwa. It's fun. I
can see the dolphins swimming in the ocean. I can see a stingray too. There are so many beautiful things. Just look around and you will see. Uh, do, do you think we've lost him? I think so. We swam quite a bit. I think he's still mad at me. That bee never forgets anything. Hurry up. Let's get back to my place before he sees us. Kazwa, what are you doing up in that tree? Uh, below the bees, down there. It's not the bee, it's a beetle. It, it doesn't matter. Let's run away fast before he feels like eating us. Zaki, look! It's below the bee! Oh no! Quick! Let's run faster! Well, boys and girls, we gotta go now. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> So you have to release the string gently, like this. Oh, that looks easy. Now you give it a try. Okay, so I release the string a little, and then... Wow, look at it go! Well done, Kazwa. Okay, now I pull the string in a bit. Look how high it's going! Be careful now, don't lose it. Oh no! Wait, wait, come back! Oh no! Shadow Valley! Shadow Valley! Oh, what do we do now? Ah, uh, well, Shadow Valley, it's dangerous in there. Subhanallah! That wind was so strong just now. What's wrong? My kite! It blew into Shadow Valley! Well, it's not that far in. I could fly in and get it. Really? Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That lightning bolt was so close to me. Yes, it was. Alhamdulillah, you were okay. Did you hear that lightning strike? We sure did. It almost hit Tufa in Shadow Valley. Why was he in Shadow Valley? My kite is stuck on a branch over there. Well, I'm good at climbing, and I'm not scared of lightning, so let me try. That would be great. But please be careful, Dawood. I thought you weren't scared of lightning. But, but, I'm very scared of thunder. Oh no! What will we do now? Hmm. Well, the kite brought us all together. 
so maybe we should all go and get it together. But what about the lightning? And the thunder? I know. I'll sing a song. That way, we'll feel less afraid. Great idea. And I know how we can get the kite. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright Got it! Sick, you're the best! You guys are the best friends ever! Shazakum Allahu Khairan for getting my kite back! That's what friends are for! And that song was so fun to sing. Yes, that's the best fun I've ever had in a storm. Yes, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. No, no thank, thank you. you. I think I better not fly my kite right now. It's too windy. Let's go back to my house for some juice and cookies. Yummy. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. Would you like some fizzy drink, Zeki? No thanks, Kaz. I'm warming up, ready to go for a run. Why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. And it would be fun to exercise together. I'm far too tired to go running. Maybe we can play soccer or basketball. I don't feel like it, Zeki. You can never win the race, Zeki. You are too big and too slow. Why don't you lay down here with me and enjoy a fizzy drink? No thanks, Kazwa. I want to try to get as fit as possible for the race. Don't forget to clean your teeth from all the sugar in that fizzy drink. Okay, Zeki. I will. Assalamu alaikum, Zeki. Wa alaikum, salam, guys. 
Hope you do well in the big race next week. We're gonna easily win this race. I know, we will get the fastest time too. Come on Harun, we don't have time to stop now. We need to keep exercising for the race. But I'm hungry. They have chocolate cookies. They are my favourite. We have to stick to our healthy diet Harun. If we start eating cookies, won't it make us slower? One cookie won't hurt us and they look so delicious. Mmm, they sure do. Assalamu alaikum Maui. Wa alaikum assalam guys. How's the preparation for the race going? Good alhamdulillah. The race is ours. We got it in the bag. Yeah, too easy. Okay then. See you at the race inshallah. Oh, you sure will. But make sure you don't blink because we will be running so fast you could miss us. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, Zeki? I'm warming up, Kazwa. Why are you warming up? I don't need to warm up. I am ready to go. Warming up is very important before running or playing sport. When we stretch our muscles, it helps our blood flow better around all parts of our body. Warming up our body temperature just a little to prepare our body for exercise or sport. If we don't warm up correctly, it can cause us to get injuries or damage our muscles. Ooh. That's right, Kazwa. Very good. Come on, Harun. We don't have time to stop. We'll be late. But I'm hungry. And look at those yummy cakes. They're my favourite. I thought chocolate cookies were your favourite. One cake won't hurt us. And don't they look scrumptious? Mmm. Where are Harun and Rashid? Here they come. Are you sure you're ready to race? We sure are, Zaki. We're ready to win. To your positions, please. On your marks. Get set. Go! It's so amazing to me And I know Yes I know Allah created it perfectly I can see So many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah 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 why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. Well done, Zaki. Thanks, Kazwa. Zaki, how did you get so fit? 
It's easy to get fit too far. We just need to eat healthy foods and do regular exercise. Drinking too many fizzy drinks is bad for our body. Fizzy drinks contain a lot of sugar and too much sugar can make us unhealthy and unfit. It is also bad for our teeth. We should try to avoid fizzy drinks and drink more water and fresh fruit juice instead. It's the same if we eat too many unhealthy foods. Unhealthy foods cause us to gain weight. And when we gain too much weight or get too unfit, it is very bad for our health. We lose power and become slow. Our bodies are a great blessing from Allah. And so we need to take good care of them. And never eat just before you do exercise. Oh. Where's Harun? Kaz, inshallah, we catch some fish. wonder how that got there. Ahead. Hold on tight. This way, Kazwa. Uh, uh, are we safe? Looks like it. I think he needs our help. <laughs> Run! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't know fishing could be this dangerous, Zeki. Next time, be careful where you toss your fishing line. I don't think there'll be a next time. Look under the ocean, what do you see? Lots and lots of fish, so beautiful to see. Look, there's a turtle, look, there's a stingray, look, there's a seahorse, yellow and green. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Big blue whales, an octopus too, an eel, a shark, swim in the deep blue. Look, there's a green fish, look, there's a blue fish, look, there's a yellow fish, so many to see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Look at the starfish, red, pink and blue. Isn't it amazing? For me and for you. Look at the seahorse swimming away. So many beautiful creatures. Look and you'll see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Lots and lots of fish. Subhanallah. I can see a crab. Subhanallah. I can see a seal. Subhanallah And a sea turtle too Subhanallah Do you ever wonder Who created this And who created that Allah created the oceans Big beautiful oceans You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, Kazwa. Sorry, Zeki. I was trying to say Shazakullahu Khairan for the tea and cake. Mmm, mmm. So delicious. Wa yakum, Kaz. Glad you like it. Ooh, my tummy is getting big. I think I've eaten too many sweets lately. Too many sweets can make you put on weight, Kaz. You should cut down on the sweets and try to eat healthier food with regular exercise. You're right, Zeki. I'll go for a jog later today, inshallah. That's a great idea. As soon as I finish this slice. I think you already had too many slices, Kazwa. Fine. No more sweets for now. I'm going to get fit and healthy again, inshallah. This is so easy. I think I'll take a quick break. All that honey dripping on the ground. What a waste. No, Kezwa. No sweet things for now, and you don't want to get in trouble with Bilal. But I guess a little honey won't hurt, and it's not stealing, 
if it's already dripping out, I'll just take a tiny bead just to get some energy for my jog. I gotta focus. I can do this in shit Allah. Well done, Kazwa. Who knew that eating honey could be such good exercise? Until next time, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others, especially bees. Assalamu alaikum. Are you ready to do some exercises with Kazwa? Great! Let's start with back turns. Now let's do some punches. Now let's do windmills. And now let's do some squats. Well done. Now let's do ski hops. Now we will do some star jumps.
And now some high knee jacks. <laughs> If you get tired, you can take a break anytime you need to. Let's now do some kickbacks. Well done, great effort. Now we will do some knee push-ups. Let's do some donkey kicks starting with the right leg. And now with our left leg. And for our last exercise, we will do some side deep squats. Well done everyone! It's so hard to get these leaves from my rooftop. I think I need to buy a ladder. Assalamu alaikum Zaki. Wa alaikum assalam Dawood. Have you seen butter today? No, I haven't. What seems to be the problem? Butter didn't come to the playground today. He always comes there after school. Maybe he went home to help his mother with some chores. I went to his house and his mother said he wasn't there. Maybe he went to the library or stayed behind in school to do his homework. But Butter loves to come to the playground after school. Everybody loves to play and have fun, but we also need to spend some time studying so that we can get good grades in school. Is everything alright there, Wood? Um, I think Butter is afraid to go to the playground. Hmm, now why would Butter be afraid to go to the playground? It's so much fun there. Well, some of the other kids have been calling him names. Ah, bullying. Nobody likes to be bullied. I'm glad you have told me that, Wood. Now we need to go find Badr. Badr! 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 Assalamu alaikum boys. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Have either of you seen Badr today? No we haven't Zaki. Although we could really use his help right about now. To help us get this balloon down. You are not tall enough to reach that balloon. Would you like some help? Yes please. My balloon. I saw it first. I touched it first. Whoa! Wait a minute, guys. You shouldn't fight and be mean to each other. If you share the balloon, you can take turns to hold it and even play with it together. That sounds fairer and more fun. Don't you agree? Now, why don't you both shake hands and agree to share like good brothers? Okay, Zaki. 
It's my piece of string. I saw it first. I touched it first. Better. Better. We'll never find him. Hmm. Somebody must have seen him. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. Have you seen Badr anywhere today? Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Yes, I saw him today. He was walking towards the woods. Thanks, Zain. Now, where did I put my glasses? Badr. 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 Oh, there he is. Assalamu alaikum, Badr. That looks like a fun comic you're reading. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Their wood and I were getting worried about you. You didn't go to the playground after school, and we know that you love to play there. Is everything okay? Um. Are you sure, Badr? Wouldn't you like to come with us to the playground? Um. No, thank you. I don't feel like playing today. <gasps> Are you sure you don't want to come to the playground and play soccer with us? Um, I can't. Why not, Badr? Um. If something is wrong, then you can tell us. Some of the other kids at the playground are calling me names and making fun of me. It makes me feel very sad and sometimes scared. That's called bullying. Bullying is a form of oppression, and this is not allowed in Islam. When someone is calling you names, hitting, pushing, or shoving you, or do anything to make you feel threatened or afraid, that's bullying, and it needs to be stopped. But what can we do if they're bigger and stronger than us? If you ever feel like someone is making fun of you, or trying to make you feel afraid, first you need to ignore them or ask them to stop. If they continue to make fun of you, then you can try to pretend you don't care, or even laugh and joke along with them, and maybe then they will stop. But if they continue to call you names and make you feel afraid, or even worse, if they hit you or push you, then you must tell a teacher, your parents, or a responsible adult. They can then talk to those who are bullying you and explain to them that it is wrong and it must stop. But they make fun of me because I'm so tall. Bullies will always make fun of people because they are different. But it's the thing that makes us different from everyone else that makes us so special. Come on, Badr, let's go to the playground and play soccer. What's wrong? Those are the kids who called Badr names. Why don't we help them get the ball down first, then we can talk to them and explain why bullying is wrong. It's not only the person that is being bullied who needs to tell a teacher or adult, but if you ever see a friend or any other person being bullied, you should always be a good person or tell someone older who can help the bullying stop. Now let's go play! <laughs> Huh? 
Is that you, Maui? Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Yes, it's me. Long time no see. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Yes, it's been a while since we last saw you at Snowcap Mountain. Yes, it has. Is Zaki around? Uh, he should be home now. Come, I'll take you there. How are things on Snowcap Mountain? It's good, walhamdulillah. Snowing as usual. Ooh, it was really cold there. Assalamu alaikum, Wa alaikum assalam, Tufa and Tima. It's great to see you both again. You too, Maui. Where are you guys off to? I am taking Maui to Zaki's house. See you guys later, inshallah. We will come to Zaki's house later in the afternoon, inshallah. Okay, see you then. Oh, there's Harun and Rashid. Let's go meet them. Is that a polar bear? It looks like Zaki is covered in snow. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. This is my friend Maui from Snowcap Mountain. Assalamu alaikum, Harun and Rashid. Nice to meet you both. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. We've never met a polar bear before. It must be very cold at Snowcap Mountain. Oh, yes, it sure is. Are there many animals on Snowcap Mountain? Yes, there are many animals that live in the snow. There are seals, penguins, and even snow leopards. And they all have thick fur to keep them nice and warm, just like me. Wow, I would love to visit Snowcap Mountain one day. Sure, you can go there anytime. Come on, Maui, let's go see Zeki. Okay then, I'll see you guys later insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Oh, there's Zain, our local postman. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. I'd like you to meet my friend Maui from Snowcap Mountain. Wa alaikum assalam. Nice to meet you, Maui. Nice to meet you too, Zain. Well, if you don't mind, I must go deliver some urgent mail. Insha'Allah, I will see you later. Assalamu alaikum. This is Maui. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you, Maui. I'm Nadine. And I'm Dawood. Pleased to meet you both. What are you working on? We are working on our Arabic exercise. We can't seem to figure this part out. Well, I know some Arabic and Quran. Maybe I can help. We can't remember how to say welcome in Arabic. Welcome in Arabic is marhaba. 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 That was easy. Well done. You said it perfectly. Thanks, Thanks Maui. Maui. Jazakallah khairan. Wa iyyakum. Happy to help. Oh, look. There's Zaki. Zaki! Assalamu alaikum! Wa alaikum assalam, Maui! I can't believe it's you! Yes! It's so good to finally be here! I really love it here! It's so nice and warm! Did you meet anyone yet? Yeah, I sure did! Kazwa showed me around and introduced me! So how is your snowboarding school going? Well, I sold the school and decided I wanted to learn Arabic and Qur'an. Now that I've learnt it, I want to become a teacher. Really? That's amazing! You know something? There is a new school opening here, and they are looking for Qur'an teachers. That's perfect, Maui! You can teach at the school! Hmm, that sounds like a great idea! I would love to teach at the school. They will be so happy to have you! 
I will take you there tomorrow to meet them. Oh look, everyone is here. Let's tell them the great news. One for Kids online store. Check out a range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support.